hello in this video I am going to design a decoder for a register file the decoder has following specifications uh, it's a 16 word register file and each word is having 32 bit each register bit presents a load of three unit size transistor so total capacitance will be 32 into 3 that is 96 and a true and complementary version of the address line available that is A320 so each address input can drive 10 unit sized transistor okay each address input can drive 10 unit sized transistor so this uh, problem we can simplify like this totally we need to Mm. we need to design a 2 power n word decoder so this will have 2 power n number of AND gates AND gates with n in with with n inputs so it's a decoder so n number of uh, n input 2 power n number of outputs but here uh, true and complementary version of the address line available okay so that means uh, not only A3, A2, A1, A0, you have A3 bar, A2 bar, A1 bar and A0 bar also. Okay. And there will be totally decoder is nothing but you will have the product terms. So uh, that is nothing but AND gate you will have. So total number of AND gate is 2 power N. Since N equal to 4, 2 power n will be 16 AND gates we have to design okay so 16 AND gates we have to design uh, and load also we know so we can draw uh, our structure this decoder structure as as follows so first of all you have uh, a3 and a3 bar you have uh, b a2 and a2 bar and a1 a1 bar and a0 a0 bar So, uh, we have four address line and we also have complement of those four uh, address line. That means A3, A3 bar, A2, A2 bar and A1, A1 bar, A0, A, A0 bar. And it is also given uh, each address input can drive 10 unit size uh, transistor. So, I can use a inverter as a buffer with the size 10 so I can write like this because in the question it is given uh, it can drive 10 unit sized transistor okay so the initial stage whatever gate we are using that will have uh, 10 unit size transistor so we will consider inverter and okay now uh, we have to use uh, an AND gate and sorry AND gate so that means I have to use an AND and inverter so that I can have an AND gate and also how many number of stages required so uh, let us uh, assume a three stage uh, structure in that one first stage is used for this inverter with each having a uh, size of 10 and next stage will be an AND gate then 
after that one more inverter we need because finally it is a AND gate ok. So, um, I have here I will have uh, NAND gate that is a 4 input NAND gate and again uh, one more inverter I will have. So, totally this is a 16 AND gates required because totally uh, 16 words and each word is having 32 bit ok. So, let me uh, move little bit this side ok. okay. Uh, so, what we have to do is uh, first let us uh, uh, write this ok and uh, first one is the word 0. So, this one is word 0 I will consider. So, word 0 will be a 3 bar, a 2 bar, a 1 bar and a 0 bar ok. So, uh, that one we have to connect. So, here already uh, a 3 bar, a 3 and a 2, a 2 bar all available. So, first 4 inputs will be I have to consider a 0 bar. See if I can see this is a 0 bar, but after inverter it will become a 0. But this one, this is a naught after inverter it will become a naught bar. So, this one I have to take one is uh, yeah, a naught bar. So, I will start with the a 3. So, a 3 bar I have to connect. So, that means this one and next one is a 2 bar that is uh, this one. So, um, one minute. I think let me use uh, line here. Mm, it will start from here and yes, this is one. Another one is uh, A2. Uh, third one is A1 and fourth one is A0. ok. Uh, similarly, uh, this is the word 0. Similarly, we will have totally word uh, totally we will have 16 word. So, let me draw that word 16 word 15 that is uh, 0 to 15 total number is 16 ok. So, again I have to the last one will be a 3, a 2, a 1 and a 0 ok. So, again let me use the line. So, first one is uh, this one and second one is I have to consider a 2, uh, a 2 is this one because a 2 bar after inverter it will become a 2. So, third one. Um, uh, a 1 bar and last one is this one ok. So, uh, we have word 0 to word 15. So, what we have to do is now we do not know the size of this one let me call it is y and let me call this as z and also we know this each word I can note down here each word uh, represent a capacitance of 96. How it is? Because each word is you can see 32 bit and each bit represents 3 unit size transistor. So, each word will will present a capacitance of 32 into 3 that is 96. So, I can write 96 units of uh, transistor capacitance. So, 96 C I can tell each word represent 96 uh, C. So, now uh, we have considered number of stages 3 and we know the size of the first stage that is 10 and last uh, that is the load output load capacitance also we know. Now, we have to calculate the delay and uh, the size of the y and z this we have to calculate ok. So, let us uh, ok. 
so first let us start with uh, path electrical effort we will start so first one is path electrical effort electrical effort that is capital H that is nothing but C out C out divided by C in so we know output load capacitance is 96 and input is having 10 unit size of uh, transistor that is 10 so total H will be 9.6 okay and also you know each line totally uh, we have 16 address so we are using 8 lines 8 lines means actually it is 4 input but they are complement also available so total number of inputs will be 8 okay and total this one is required 16 total address lines so that means this one line if I consider A3 from here we have to take uh, 8 times this A and A of 3 will be used similarly a of 3 bar will be used 8 so that means what i mean this line will have 8 branches this line also will have 8 branches this will have also have 8 branches like this each line will have 8 branches or if you have doubt you can even once you can write uh, so that means a3 a2 a1 and a0 and you have the decoder here so uh, whenever you you want this one so this one is 0 0 0 0 and 0 0 0 1 and 0 0 1 0 now uh, you can see how many times a3 ha is having zero value that is nothing but a3 bar how many times a3 is having one value that means a3 uncomplemented form so we have already complemented and uncomplemented so each column if you see you will find eight zeros and eight ones you will find each column if you consider till uh, one 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 so till this if you consider you will get eight zero and eight ones that means eight times a3 bar and eight times a3 and second column a2 also will you will get eight zero eight ones so a2 eight and a2 bar eight similarly we have to consider for all this one so that means our branch will be total number of branches will be so i can write that one that is uh, b or path branching effort path uh, branching effort path branching effort if you consider path branching effort so from here if you consider uh, so totally it will be 8 any input any line you take that will be 8 branches ok so let us write directly that path branching effort that is B is equal to 8 uh, next one what we have to calculate is the logical effort path logical effort we need see remember we are considering three stage those are nothing but this is 1 and this is 2 and this is 3 how many are there for 8 we have to we have 8 inputs and for each input we have 3 stages ok so we are calculating one path first one path we will calculate that is it may be a3 it may be a3 bar any any one you consider so that delay we are calculating ok so path branching uh, sorry path logical effort we have to calculate path logical effort so that is nothing but capital G so what is the inverter logical effort one second stage is four input uh, NAND gate you can calculate four input NAND gate you will get a logical effort is six by three that means input capacitance of a four input NAND gate when compared with the inverter it is six by three and again you have inverter that is one so totally it is two so our path effort will be uh, path effort that is uh, path effort is f is equal to g b and h g i know it is 2 b it is 8 h it is 9.6 so totally uh, if you multiply you will get 154 154 you will get so best stage effort best or each stage effort each 
uh, stage effort uh, if you consider f cap f cap will be 154 to the power of 1 by 3 so that if you calculate you will get 5.36 okay 5.36 you will get now uh, uh, now what we have to do is we have uh, found stage effort each stage effort should be what we know now uh, re remaining is we have to find transistor gate sizes and total delay okay so first uh, let us calculate the delay then we will see transistor size so delay path delay is formula we know that is n uh, f cap plus uh, capital p so n is number of stages 3 and this one is 5.36 and uh, parasitic we have three stages first stage is inverter second one four input and third one is the inverter so totally this will be 22.1 so this is the uh, minimum delay we are having now what should be the size so we have considered like just see here nand gate size y uh, inverter size z okay so we will start with the uh, the z inverter we will see so inverter you can see the output load we have to calculate so let me use that formula we have ready formula that uh, what is that c in of i so c in of i is equal to c out of i g i and f cap you have to uh, find so first one we want uh, first one this we want z we want so that we will write here c in i is z and c out i we know it is 96 and g i is the inverter divided by 5.36 then uh, you get 18 now we have to calculate the y for y c out i will be 18 and uh, the electrical effort of a 4 input 96 by 3 that is 2 and you have to divide by the f cap that is a 5.36 and that is nothing but 6.7 so we have calculated the gate size also and transistor size also we can easily calculate okay so that is the solution for this problem